Picture this. You go to your favorite tackle store to grab some gear, or you're opening that new box of tackle that you just got from your favorite online retailer, and you got some brand new bladed jigs or chatterbaits in there, and you're excited to hit the water. You head to your favorite fishing hole, filled with optimism and enthusiasm for your rod to bow up on that next big bass. You make that, you make that first perfect presentation, slide it right into that cover, right next to those limbs, around that dock. You start slow rolling that bait right through there, and boom, your rod loads up. And then the sadness sets in because it's not a big bass. It's not even a pike. You've hooked another limb. You've sunk another one of your precious bladed jigs, your chatterbait, your jackhammer into a stump and it's gone. You're never getting it back. Effectively, that money, down the drain. If this ever happened to you before and it frustrates the heck out of you, then this video is for you. I'm not sure there's anything quite more frustrating than losing your favorite bladed jig, especially a jackhammer. They cost a fortune. I don't think any of us love the idea of burning $20 bills left and right, losing baits. Doesn't matter if your favorite jig, your favorite bladed jig is a Z-Man Custom, a jackhammer, a Thunder Cricket, a Picasso. They're all expensive. They're all great bass catchers, but they all have some common flaws that they aren't great in hard cover and they tend to hang up. I'm going to show you three quick ways to make your favorite blade jigs less snag prone, weedless, and come through cover and lose less. Time to become fearless and throw your chatterbait right in where the big ones live that other anglers aren't putting their baits so you can mop up behind them. As a tournament angler, bladed jigs, chatterbaits are fantastic at both catching numbers and big bass. But the downside we had talked before, you do lose a couple. They do. The exposed hook hangs and stuff. So we're going to give you some tips that are going to fix that and change the way you fish chatterbait. Whether you're new to fishing chatterbaits or a longtime veteran of the bladed jig game, I'm sure you're going to find the nugget or two that are going to help you improve your chatterbait fishing. It'll help you lose less baits and catch more big bass. Sure, you can buy weedless versions of the chatterbait. The Z-Man Cross-Eye is a really good one. Fantastic bait. The Super K Clacken comes with a weed guard. There's a few others. There's a lot of options out there. But it's not always practical or cost effective to have multiple versions, multiple colors of all the sizes, all the weights in both weedless and non-weedless for all the situations. So we're going to focus on things you can do with the tackle you already have or modify the bait you have to make them more effective and lose less bait. If any of this stuff catches your eye, I'll have links down in the description below to any of the baits, any of the gear that help you find them super quick. All right. Tip number one is to expose your trailers on your bladed jigs. You can rig them much like you would a Texas rig where the hook is just below the plastic. So when it's come through the water, it'll deflect off cover. When if it rolls over, hits something, it's not gonna hang up nearly as easily. It'll also prevent grass and things like that from on there. Now you are gonna tear up a few more baits. They're not gonna last quite as long, but this can be a super good way to make your baits quite a bit more stag resistant and still have decent hookups. And you can actually just Change trailer to trailer on the situation as the day goes on. You can test it out. So as you can see, modeling up on this, this rod handle, uh, this cork, right? By having that hook buried in the plastic, you can drag it over a limb effortlessly and not snag in there. Now let me show you how to rig it. This technique seems to work a little better with your thinner, minnow style, smaller, thin profile trailers like this Arsenal Tactical Minnow. Come in the head. Poke it out. You're going to spin it on there, much like a Texas rig. You're going to push it up past those barbs. The barbs will still do a good job holding it up there. And you're going to lay it out, figure out where that hook's going to come through. And this bait, the tactical minnow, has a nice little crease, little channel that you can lay that hook in. All right, now you're ready. Put the bunch of the hook up, lay it in there. And just like that, your bait's still pretty level. It puts a little different orientation on the bait and it may change the action or how your bait performs under the water slightly so that is something to consider but it might be a little better might be something a little worse but either way your bait is going to be a lot less likely to snag in the water you're going to give the fish a slightly different look and it doesn't cost you anything you can just use the baits you already have rigged in a new orientation text posing it on the bladed jigs you already own and that'll work with just about any bladed jig that you're going to throw all right this next one is one of my favorite Trailer selection has a huge impact on how your bait will come through cover, especially hard cover. So a Zayco here shown on a unskirted jackhammer. It's a super popular bait, catches a ton of fish. One thing you notice is a lot of minnow baits have a deep keel under the hook. When you bring this over a log or a stick, that keel is going to hit on that piece of cover and that bait's naturally going to want to roll 
and stick into the log almost every single time. That keel, while great for getting your bait to track through the water, stay straight, and have great kicking action, isn't great when it bumps into cover. You're going to hit that cover, the chatterbait's going to roll, and you're going to stick that limb, that dock post, that stick up, that stump almost every time. On the flip side, one of my other favorite baits is a rage bug from striking. Let me show you how it works. The fat body rigged horizontally on a chatterbait does the opposite. It gives a flat plane for that to ride over the limb. Now let me show you. So you're here I have it rigged to my chatterbait in which you can rig these in two directions but if you want it to be more weedless you want to rig it the flat way. So the, the belly of that bait is under the hook flat goes over cover. Let's see how it works. So you bring that same bait into cover and it stays very level as it goes over the cover. So once your bait hits the cover it just keeps an even plane, rides right over the cover, keeps your hook away. Plus, having that extra plastic, the width of it, as that rolls, will keep your bait protected because you got more plastic protecting the hook. So a little bit wider, flatter style body will come through cover way better, come through grass way better without hanging up than your traditional minnow style lean profile. Not too long ago, I rigged up one of my favorite baits, the Super K Clacken, with a flat style adrenaline craw. So this one has a slight weed guard on it, real soft, with a flat body. I threw this all week down the bayou of the Watchtower River around stumps, cypress trees, sticks, and never lost a single bait and caught a few nice bass. So you can combine any of these tricks to further improve your odds and make a almost completely weedless shatter bait that comes through cover like a 4x4, like a spinner bait or a square bell, and still have the drawing power and the big fish action of a bladed jig. If you're finding any value in this video, consider bumping that like button help others learn about these tips and help them protect their bladed jigs. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button if you don't want to miss any future videos that are going to help you catch more big bass and suck less. Like I said before, part of the goal is to do more with what you already have. And so there's a great product out there, the Queen Tackle Switchblade, which is a blade you can mount on any vertical line tie jig that you already have, whether it's lead, whether it's tungsten, but if it has a weed guard, you're going to basically convert your ordinary jigs that you can customize with skirt colors. You can do whatever you want. So it really allows you to have just a few baits and a few blades and you can customize and make any weedless shatter bait you want on the fly. You bend one of these little tabs out, the little bar falls out of the way, loosens up. Basically that opens up the jig. You slide your favorite jig head. This is a Bass Tank Tuxin jig with no skirt on it. You put it back in place. You bend the little tab down in place and now you've created a weedless chatterbait with baits you already have. So for a few bucks, you can go grab some of these blades, put on a jig, you can throw on your favorite skirt, you can hand tie skirts on, and there you go. Now you've got a completely weedless jig that you can totally customize, take out in the water, and catch big bass, and not fear of losing it in a stump. <laughs> if you love throwing chatterbaits and instantly learn about great trailer options, how to pick them and where to use them, watch this video printed on the screen right here.